In Fallout 4, the most significant settlement we can find is in the remnants of Fenway Park, Diamond City. Among the multitude of side quests we can find here, one can change 200 years of tradition if done improperly. Speaking with Abbott at the Wall, we can start the quest Painting the Town. This involves heading to the old hardware store down the road and finding some paint for the wall. Once we get to Hardware Town, some raiders will launch a clever scheme to ambush the sole survivor, but after the attack, we can find some paint and a mixer in the rear of the room. Here, we can mix yellow and blue paint to make green, but we can also take these base colors back to Diamond City. Once we are back at the wall, use one of these colors to paint the wall with, and we will be confronted by Abbott. Hey, Abbott. Blue? You know what you're doing there? The wall ain't blue. I think it'll look good. Well, let's hope so. I guess it's better than her going into disrepair, but... Damn. That's over 200 years of tradition we're moving away from. There's your payment. Now get going. I got work to do. Returning to the wall a bit after doing the quest, we will see that Abbott has painted the entire thing to match whatever color we have used, blue or yellow. We can't use the blood can or the red paint added with the DLCs in the quest, so these are the only colors we can change the wall to. This is just an interesting small detail that people tend to miss due to using the correct paint during the quest. Still, if you want to change up Diamond City, this is one of the biggest ways to do it. Please assume the position. 